long, long ago, there lived a prosperous civilization known as the Escuta. Its citizens lived in luxury, intoxicated with an arrogant ambition to conquer the world. They consumed vast quantities of the Earth's resources, polluting the water and giving nothing back to the land. Finally, overcome by the excesses of their culture and the poisoning of their environment, they sank to the bottom of the sea. A sea so contaminated that not even a single microbe could exist in its waters. Thousands of years have passed since the great cataclysm brought on the destruction of the Escuta, but the wicked ambition of the people has survived in the foul waters of its undersea graveyard. And now, that vile arrogance has given birth to a fearsome monster named Baramos, who presides over an evil empire of darkness. <laughs> Baramos has established himself in the flying fortress of game. He set out to conquer the world. In order to do so, he must invoke the power of the great dragon. And to do this, he must find and master the magic of the legendary red stone. Meanwhile, in a nearby village, a young girl named Tiara is about to celebrate her 15th birthday. Born on the day of the dragon, in the year of bronze, she has always been both curious and inventive. What she does not know is that she is also a descendant of the guardians of the red stone, which has been passed down by her tribe for generations. And today, the red stone will pass to her. Tiara! Yes, mother? Master Yogi's here to see you. Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, happy birthday, Tiala. Good morning, and thank you, Master Yogi. I got up very early so I could come give you my present. <gasps> thank you for remembering, Master Yogi. What did you bring me? You'll just have to look in the basket. Yeah? Oh, thank you, Master Yogi! <laughs> Tiala! How beautiful! What do you think? Doesn't it look beautiful on me? I must admit I had my doubts. I never thought such a weak baby would become such an active and intelligent young woman. The two of you deserve great credit for her upbringing. Huh? Uh, we're honored by your words, but I must tell you, Master Yogi, we didn't do anything special. You're too modest. The fact is she was more than just your daughter right from the beginning. She was destined to be protector of the Red Stone, and now she's strong enough to accept that. I suppose that means she's reached the age where she must be told. The time has come, Martina. She must understand the responsibility she faces in becoming the chosen one. The wind's blowing! Tiella, where are you going? I want to show Abel my present and try my new wings. The wind's perfect today, Mother. The, the wind? The wind? Don't worry, I'll be back soon! Yalla! <laughs> if you were marrying me, I'd buy you a much prettier wedding dress than that. Don't save your money, Moko, because I'm not marrying you. Aw, don't be so mean to Yalla. Isn't there anything I can do to change your mind? Uh huh. Huh? Come on, Moko. You can help me test out my new wings. I finished them this morning. Gee, thanks for the invitation, but I'm still trying to recover from the last time I went. Uh, see you later. Wait, Moko, I made a lot of improvements this time. Oh. Tiara, where did you get that sash and necklace you're wearing? These? They're my birthday presents from Master Yogi. I'm 15 today. You're sure about that? It was a long time ago. You were born in the year of bronze. Oh, my heavens! Uh, wait! Stop! Everyone go home! Uh, we have to postpone the wedding! We can't do it today!
poor Abel. I wonder why he didn't take it with him. Abel! Hey, Abel! I've got something to show you! Hmm? Come and see what I got for my birthday! I'll be right there! How are ya? <gasps> and I would have caught him. He was close to exhaustion from throwing me around out there. Oh, really? Huh? <laughs> How'd you get down here anyway? Your bike? Mm-hmm. And look, I brought my latest set of wings with me. You mean you want to fly? Of course. It's my 50th birthday, and the wind direction today is perfect. Much better than the last time I tried. Yeah, I was the guinea pig. Oh. I have a new design. See? Come on, it'll be a lot safer this time. I promise. I'm not so sure about that. Let's go. Everything looks good so far. Oh, I'm so excited, Abel. This is the best set of wings I've ever put together. I'm sure you're going to be successful this time. Yeah, I hope so. Go, Abel! I'm going, I'm going! I just hope I can keep going. Huh? What's going on? Oh, the wind's wrong. It, it's dropped off. It won't support him. Abel, you can't make it over the cliff! Is he here to stop myself? I can't! The wind got me! My feet aren't on the ground! Oh well, here it goes! Uh, ah! 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 Oh no! Huh? It'll be alright, the wind came back! Ah! Woo! Ah! Uh, you better watch out. What? Watch your front. Wow. 